we're gonna move from human interest stories, which we cover a lot, that kind of what we call the softer side of quality, and we're gonna move into this week's Tech Corner. Uh, this is a unique Tech Corner for us. It's the first time we're having a Tech Corner and our Studio B. Now, what we've done, and you've seen many times, is, is that Dirk will, will do a, a Tech Corner, and he'll have what we call our, our gauge cam, and that'll be the camera that'll be kind of over the desk here, and we'll look at a small piece of equipment. Well, this week's Tech Corner, we have a slightly different uh, piece of equipment that we're going to be looking at. It is from QVI. It's their new Snap dimensional measuring machine. And we're going to throw it to Dirk now and have him look at it. Take it away, Dirk. Okay, thanks, Mike. Um, yes, well, we're in our uh, new setting here, Studio B, which is 2,000 centimeters. Do the math from Studio A. Um, and with me today is Chuck Marks. Hi. Chuck is the regional uh, manager for optical gauging products, OGP. Mm -hmm. And he's here to show us uh, a fairly new product from OGP called the uh, the snap. The snap is a, tell me what it is again? Digital measuring machine. See, I want to call it a vision system, but he calls it a, a digital measuring machine, right. which is just a vision system, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> a lot of the same technologies. Okay, tell us what, about it. What the, the digital measuring machine is, is a little bit different from a video machine in that we don't have any moving elements on this. So the stage doesn't move, the optics, uh, it's not a mechanical zoom, it's all a digital zoom. Okay. Um, we've done a couple uh, unique things with the, uh, the snap. Uh, one is we have a uh, large field of view, uh, about 78 millimeters uh, field of view. We also have a very deep depth of focus of, of about 38 millimeters. So you can have a, a fairly uh, thick part in here that you're able to measure an image. So you can measure from the top of the part to the bottom of the part up to an inch and a half. Right, now it's all, all in focus. Right, right, it's all XY measurement on this, but okay. you're able to see any of those steps at, at the different heights. What, what we did is we have a telecentric zoom system in here. Um, we're very familiar with uh, telecentric optics on both our comparators and our video lines. Um, and so we've been able to take that technology that we've learned and apply it in a, uh, a large format measurement system. Um, very shop floor uh, ready. So, th so this might be, uh, th this in a sense is, is kind of a well, you probably wouldn't call it this, but an optical an optical comparator on steroids. It's it's a two it's a two D measurement system, but with with depth. Right, that's correct. Okay. Um, not only one of the uh, challenges with a uh, comparator is the ability to image the surface, and okay. uh, what we'll see here with some of the lighting uh, techniques is uh, you're able to look down in side parts, do measurements in side parts, which you really can't do sure. with a, a optical comparator. So I understand what, what we're going to do is we're going to show how easy it is to program a part, mm -hmm. and then and then show what it would be like for an operator to actually run a run a part once once had been Once it's right? created. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start with just a fairly simple uh, stamp part, uh, 2D type uh, measurement, and it's very easy to do measurements. Um, the the second major feature of the uh, the snap is the Measure X uh, 2D software. Now we've been making uh, Measure X uh, 3D software for a number of years. The 2D is uh, simply an XY uh, measurement uh, software on that. Okay. So we can take a. Uh, so we can get a screenshot on this. Okay. Yeah. Great. So uh, if we want to do, for instance, just a line, we can just click and drag. And I don't have to be right on the edge. I just bring it up, and then the edge detection does all the work. As you know, with uh, you know, mechanical uh, instruments, yeah, you the two of us can measure them yeah, differently. Yeah, right. different, yeah. So what we can do here is we, can, uh, we let the, the system do the measurement for us. So as we begin to build a, uh, a little uh, inspection, every time I make three clicks and see here it makes a circle, uh, gives us a diameter, and as soon as I say OK, that saves that, that particular step in the, run, okay. in the uh, program. In a picking up a radius? Yeah, sure. Pick up a radius. We just click it. Notice it'll say that uh, we're going to start with a uh, circle or an arc, uh, take the three points, and it'll go ahead and do the measurements. Now, one of the benefits of this, now we talked there's not a, a mechanical zoom, but there is a digital zoom. So if I have smaller features, like maybe the straight lines on the top of this, uh, these slots over here, I can move up. Uh, we have an eight position uh, zoom, uh, digital okay. zoom built in. So, so you're, just zo you're just zooming into the part. That's correct. Okay. And I can drive around the stage, all okay. right? Even though the stage isn't moving, uh, very similar to if you're familiar with using a video machine, sure. uh, you can drive around inside the, the camera array, essentially. And so we can begin uh, doing these, uh, uh, continuing our programs, measuring some lines, doing whatever widths and, and measurements we have to do. Uh, does this measure angles as well? Yep, I could construct an intersection between those two lines, get the, okay. uh, the angle between them. Okay. Sure. Um, from here, I can go ahead and just run the program. I'm going to go ahead and run it here. And you'll see it's very, very quick. There's no moving uh, elements. So we took, uh, I think there's about, uh, I don't know, eight or nine uh, features in there, and it measured them in about three seconds. Okay. So it's much quicker than um, you know, a, a standard video-based uh, system would sure. be. Or a comparator, which uh, only takes uh, you know one data point. And the pro look, 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 the programming was—I mean, it looked like 
somebody could be taught to program this actually fairly quickly, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, typically uh, one day of training for this type of uh, uh, system, video systems uh, with, with moving stages are typically about a two-day training class. Okay. All right. yeah. Now, one of the things uh, we've done to, to highlight um, is a, uh, you know, when we get into a little more prismatic parts, okay, we have a uh, adjustable uh, stage that can go up and down up to four inches. So if you have a part that's got some features on one end of it, you know, it's not very flat, we can drop the stage, we can raise the stage to uh, make sure we're able to, to bring those features in, in focus. Okay, now I noticed that this part you put on there, just so people know, that part looks to me maybe half an inch, 13 millimeters or so in, in, in yeah, height. Yeah, and so the, right. that, entire, that entire part will be in focus from top to bottom. That's correct, okay. that's correct. Um, what, some of the, uh, the features we have, the lighting, uh, you know, as you look on the screen here, you can see that uh, we have a backlight, so it looks very much like the comparator you, you uh, sure. mentioned. Uh, we also have a direct surface illumination. Uh, direct surface illumination lets us see down inside the part. Uh, looks pretty good, but we have a, another set of lighting that actually will really make the internal features uh, kind of kind of pop, and that's our ring light. So we bring in our uh, uh, ring light in here. We can control the different sections of it and the different angles as we bring these lights up. Get them all going here. And so here, what I've done is I've only turned on two sections of the light. As we rotate this around, okay, oh, you'll okay. see how the, sure. the image on the screen there changes. Now what happens there is when we look at a CAD model, the edges are always nice and square. And then we, as we know as, as manufacturers, that's not always the case when the part right. comes out of the mold or off the machine, there's going to be break edges. It's very important with a video system that we, we're not measuring the part, we're measuring the image of the part. So we have to present the most crisp image we can to the uh, to the uh, camera array to do the measurement. And so the I know on this on this ring light here. So you got eight segments. You can select which segments which segments you want on. Absolutely. Uh, and that gets programmed into the uh, gets set into the program right, as well. Right. Right. Okay. That's all part of the, uh, the the method there. Now I notice uh, looks like the ring light. Uh, looking at the reflection here, looks like you got two different colors, red and green. That's correct. Uh, we have uh, what you can do is um, every other uh, section is a different color, so you can turn on all the green or all the red. Now that may come into play if you have different color plastics. Sometimes certain lights uh, illuminate better. We also did it for a lot of the circuit board, the PCB uh, sure. type uh, uh, applications. It also will illuminate the gold trace or, or maybe some of the wiring traces a little better depending. On what color you okay. have, so you just pick which color you pick which color you want. Uh, right. you, you do that from the setting is here as well. That's okay. correct. Right. That's correct. So one of the things we really wanted to highlight uh, with this system is simply an, an ease of use uh, type environment. Um, so because you you have very little uh, uh, experience on here, so we're going to take this uh, this part we have and we're just going to put it on the stage, and then we're going to show you how you can open a program and run it okay. without really having to know how to use uh, the software very much. So I'll let. Okay. Even a uh, magazine editor <laughs> yeah, load the part even, on here. Even an editor. Yeah. Even an editor can do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I just drop this. Uh, I just make sure it's what roughly in the roughly in the Ruff center of the, the screen. That's correct. Roughly and in the center. I press this button. Well, let me go ahead and uh, and we're going to open the program now. What we've done for a lot of customers is we'll go ahead and we'll incorporate a uh, barcode scanner. And then you could walk up with your parts, you have your tray of parts, you have your traveler with it. Your traveler probably has a barcode okay. or an RFID or something like that. You're able to scan that, you're able to get it to open the program for you. And now on the front panel right here, we have a uh, run and an okay. OK button. So if you want to press the run button there, All right. and uh, so it came up, so as you're ready, you go ahead right. and say okay. And now what the Oops. system's going to do, okay. yeah, you got to mess it, press it down there a little bit. There we go. So the system went in. And uh, it's going through and it's doing all these measurements. And there's about 85 different individual steps that are being measured on this uh, okay. program. And you can see the, uh, the entire runtime was about 10 seconds. Okay. So it's very fast because we don't have any moving elements. Now, I, I noticed on this slide, is this actually a, a CAD model of the... Uh, uh, of what we're right. measuring, or is this, or is this what's actually being measured? Right. This is a graphical representation of what we've measured. Okay. So, okay. so it'll come. Now you'll notice we do have the flyouts showing the different dimensions, the different okay. sizes. Uh, we can incorporate CAD. We can fit the data points over to uh, a CAD model okay. and do uh, you know GDNT uh, type uh, profiles and 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 true position and, and complex true position. Okay. And you would just export out of here into. That's correct. Okay. Into, okay. That's correct. Okay. Yep. Great. Um, um, so. Uh, Tell me again. This was. This took about. This. Ha how many steps did this have, or uh, how many features did we measure? Uh, this measured, I think, uh, eighty-one different in, uh, items. It took like ten. About seconds ten seconds. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, and you. And I think you said. In, th in this case, we pulled. We pulled the measurement routine down from a file. file You're saying it right. could be done with a RFID scanner or a barcode That's scanner, correct. Or whatever. That's correct. Okay. Yep. 
Uh, what's the accuracy? Uh, accuracy on this is at low mag, we're at 10 microns. At high mag, we're at uh, five microns accuracy. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about the market? I mean, who is this primarily intended for? You know, it's really, there's a uh, benefit of uh, QVI as a whole is we're really not uh, segmented into any one market. So we do a lot of work in the medical device industry. We do a lot of plastic injection molding, uh, government labs, um, you know, aerospace, military, all sorts of different uh, markets. So really what it's designed for is customers with, uh, you know, Fairly small parts, you know, under three inches, uh, with a lot of features in them that that can be seen in one pass and very quickly. Okay. Uh, now you you mentioned that the the depth of focus is uh, I think you said about thirty seven millimeters. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, it's about an inch and a half. So mm -hmm. if if you had a larger part, mm -hmm. um, you could just focus. You could focus on whatever area of interest on that, as long as it fit within the volume of, of the machine. That's right? correct. And we have a uh, adjustable Z down here, so we could just raise or lower the the stage up and down until we get to uh, that area in focus. Okay. All yep. right. Terrific. Um, yeah. Where are these? Uh, where are these uh, available? Uh, where, actually, where are they made first? Okay. Uh, Quality Vision International um, is a, a recently ISO uh, uh, nine thousand one okay. certified company, and we're headquartered in Rochester, New York. Um, and you can uh, look for these systems uh, with any of the either the uh, RAM optical distributors as well as any of the optical gauging products uh, representatives. If you want to find out more information, I think there'll be a link on the uh, the flyby here. That uh, right, there is right. a actually there, there, I think there's a link on the screen. There's also a link uh, to the Snap product in particular right. uh, underneath our player at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. um, where are these manufactured? Uh, Rochester, New York. Oh, the Ro okay. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Made. All made in America. America. Yep. Okay. Um, well, Chuck. Thanks a lot for showing us the, the QVI Snap. Uh, if you have more questions on this product, um, you can email us questions. Actually, let me just make sure we didn't get any questions while this was coming in. Um, if you have any further questions on this, you can email them to us. We'll forward them on to Chuck, or you can go to the link at the bottom of the page there uh, underneath the player. The last link under the player is a link out to the Snap product. So, uh, Chuck, once again, thanks for joining That's us no here problem. at Tech Corner. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mike, uh, back to you. Thank you, Dirk, and uh, of course, thanks, Chuck, and thanks to the good people at QVI for allowing us to feature the snap on this special episode of uh, Tech Corner, uh, on that special segment of Tech Corner here on Quality Digest Live. Always interesting to, to, chat, with, uh, to chat about good products, good techniques, and, and ways to improve quality. And uh, Dirk, thank yes, you. I'm thank back. you for doing that. Yeah. That was, uh, that was fun. That's it. It was, it's, it's, it's kind of fun. We've always had... Uh